How's it going? Good. So um, I wanted to ask you about the the first that painting had that says I'm I'm not proud of my roots. I'm not proud of anybody's roots. So like when people come into my house, they always they're always attracted to that quote and always trying to interpret it. Why do you think that is? I think it's when I did uh, that painting, I used uh, a quote. Don't forget that painting is a 20 years old painting. It's a quote I put to to make people understand I am an individual, me first, and after that, the community. When I'm talking about woods, uh, I think I'm not proud of my woods. And any time, anything to do with woods seem political. And me as an artist, I want to be independent. I, I'm not proud of my woods, and I'm not proud of anybody's woods. That means I don't endorse everything where I'm come from. So, in Haiti, but even here too. I don't endorse everything Canada do in their past because I think that's bullshit. I'm proud of myself first and I'm proud of certain things my country do. Okay. So, yeah, growing up, I remember being in the house with you and there's paintings all, all over the walls. And I was always, I think as a kid, I was always looking for the meaning. I needed to figure out what they meant. I always thought that there was something to get that I wasn't getting and therefore I guess thought that I didn't have any kind of artistic ability but I remember asking you, Puppy, what does this painting mean? And you'd always kind of say, well, what does it mean to you? You'd always put that around. What's that all about? Like, do I, you can't, like, there's no hidden agenda, there's no hidden meaning with your paintings? Of course, everything had a meaning, you know, uh, behind it, but I am a visual person. Uh, I think sometimes if um, I probably I'm not a writer, I'm not I mean I'm visual, I'm not a good speaker, but I like put things on the wall, I like pen on canvas, I like to tell my story via my painting, but if you ask me to explain it to you, I can. But visually I put the work in front of you, it's up it's you, it's up to you to figure out what what you take from it. Me, I know what I'm taking from it. But I can't tell you that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think we need a critic to tell us to like something or to do not like. It's the experience when in front of the work, how we feel and if the work speak to you good. It's correct enough, but I remember we, we talked about this before and the conversation went into culture where you said you make, you make your own culture kind of thing. It's, it's everything. This, to answer that question right, and I know where I'm coming from. Where I'm coming from, everybody asks me, where your influence come from? I say mm -hmm. Haiti, downtown Port-au-Prince. Haiti, but the rest, of course, is my intelligence, is my brain, is my, is my sophistication in art, is my, is my own story, what I learned in life, you know? But Haiti is the fundamental influence of my painting. And uh, so I asked you this, uh, this before too, I was surprised because I always thought Jean-Michel Basquiat was one of your primary influences, but you corrected me last night and said it was a no. different guy as well. Uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat and I were almost the same age. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was influenced by Jean-Michel Basquiat, it would be, it would be, you know, what's the good words for that? It would be <laughs> a disaster. I think when Jean-Michel Basquiat came, in 1980, his work was a phenomenal. It's like, I think white people was ready for that type of war, brute and African figure. And what Haitians do for centuries. But Jean-Michel Basquiat, success helped to bring that to the, main, to the mainstream. Mm -hmm. But in Haiti, we were doing voodoo work since since in before and since after independence. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I've noticed, like, um, I've, I come visit here probably every year and a half, every two years, and I noticed one time I came and your, all of a sudden your artwork became, I don't know if the right word is sexualized or sexual, your work. It's very, what, what happened there? Why the change? I think definitively it, it was on my agenda 
all my life to do a series of nude painting between women and men and also and fats and black men also. I think it's always a taboo uh, in our Western society to show black dick. And I think I want to show black dick and I want to paint it graphically. Mm -hmm. And I hope you can, sh you can show it to your viewer. Yeah. So what, what is the black penis though? Like a big black penis? Like what, what message does that symbolize? Once, it, just, it is what it is? Or? Once, uh, Edith Piaf, who is a French classic singer, called a, a black penis a cathedral. Uh, that's mean a monument. Okay. But definitively, in our Western culture, there are so much taboo about black penis, you know what I mean? And I don't know if you know that in history, where the, 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 the slave master was teasing the black man with a white woman, when he got a hard on, they cut, they cut his cock. That, that happened? Uh, I'm quoting somebody else, but it seemed like somebody who should, uh, somebody should document that, and that stayed in my mind. Traumatized. <laughs> Your politics come out in the paintings just by it's, the It's probably tell society sometimes, fuck you. You can't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Society will tell you, don't paint a, a black man nude. Don't, it's, it's the way I do my black man, black man and, and woman nude is different from, it's, it's definitely very graphic. And, uh, and I think for me, it's the way to say fuck you to society. You can't tell me what to do. I'm the artist, I do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, so what, so... It's, so to, I'm challenge, artist, it's to challenge society also, challenge you. Yeah. So why is it important to tell society to fuck you? Because I think we got a tendency in, uh, in our world, religion tell us what to do convention established to control people. But, con but control artists thought it's impossible. You got to kill me first before you tell me you can't do that. I am free, I can do whatever I want. And uh, that's one reason also I, f I left Haiti, who is a very dictatorial culture, who tell people you can't do that, you can't do this, you, you you allowed to do this, and I, I am against it. Mm -hmm. I want to be free. So, so I am going to end with one question. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm.